I'm joined by Amherst College. They just finished as the runner-up of the 2023 NCAA Division III Men's Soccer Championship. We have with us forward Ada Okorogeye, head coach Justin Serpone, and midfielder Wyatt McCarthy. Coach, I'll open with you from comments about today's game, please. Yeah, um, I just want to start off and congratulate St. Olaf. I mean, that, that's an amazing run that they've been on. I think the last time they lost was September 10th. So, um, you know, this is Justin's first year. Uh, I, I'm good friends with Travis Wall, the former coach. Um, what they built is a really good team, right? And I think uh, with a bunch of really good players. And so, um, you know, uh, obviously I'm sad. Uh, more sad that our season's ending, our, our time together is ending, than, than losing a soccer game. But I'm, I'm happy for St. Olaf. Uh, they've been really good, one of the best teams this entire year. And, um, you know, so I, I, for them, uh, really happy and congratulations to them, all of them. Um, for us, I, I, I am just so proud of these guys and this team and this community and all the support that we constantly get. Um, I feel like I'm getting good at these press conferences. Um, three national runners up in the four years Ada and the senior class has been there. Um, and I think, you know, I said to somebody, this year, um, like, the, this is the most important sort of part of my job, right? Like, it's really easy to have people celebrate you and have your back when things are going right and all that. Well, what, what are communities about? It's about supporting ourselves when things don't go our way, right? And in the grand scheme of things, of life, uh, the, you know, we're disappointed, but I think we have pretty good perspective about what Amherst soccer means, the fact that our friendships uh, will last forever um, till, till our, you know, to the end of our days. And, and it's, it's, it's just something that um, I think is unique and special, and I love them. I'll also say, just looking at these two guys, like we've been, in, we've been together for a lot. COVID, um, you know, I remember hugging Ada. We weren't even sure whether to hug on that last day in March of 2020. Um, when you were, you know, the, the, the world shut down, saying goodbye and like, man, have we been through so much together. So um, Wyatt was one of the guys on campus as a first year when we were like, you know, whatever. We had like training sessions of two. We had four people on campus and we spent a lot of time together. So I just, these guys are part of my family. Um, I love them so much. I'm so proud of them. And, you know, uh, I'm just really super sad that, we don't get to go out to practice on Monday. And I'll crack it open some questions. All right, so, uh, Coach, you know, um, when you look back on this team and, and this senior class, uh, you know, what are you going to remember about this group in particular? Dude, like, uh, great question. I mean, like, amazing people, amazing characters. I mean, I feel like we've, you know, again, been through so much together, um, from Otto to Ben to Mendy. Uh, Declan, Sean, Landa, Max Landa. I'm so proud of Max Landa. Um, an amazing year as a senior. I just think about like all the times in between the games, all the bus rides, all the all the scrapping. I think about that night in Old Orchard Beach, Maine. You know when things weren't going our way, and the fact that these guys uh, came together when 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 things got hard, rather than the most you know teams and people would blame other. Everyone, you know, looked inward and, and, and got better. And so I'll never forget that. And um, and just, you know, I mean, Otta's sitting up here next to me. I mean, my son, you know, wears a number 23 Amherst backpack when he goes to school every day. Like, that's how, that's the impact that I think uh, these guys have had on me and my family. And um, I don't know. It, yes, our season's over. I'm sad we're not together Monday. But it's not like we're not going to be best of friends for the next 40 years. Right? I mean, so it's like, you know, I keep it in perspective. And um, I'll ask a similar question to the, to the student athletes. Uh, you know, Wyatt, when you look back on this season, um, you know, what, what are you going to remember about this season? What makes this group special? It's really, I mean, it's hard to say. Coach talked about it the other night, and he just talked about it now. Like, the wins, losses, whatever. At the end of the day, what makes this program so special doesn't change. The love we all have for each other, we have for our coaches, for the group, for the school. Uh, it's it's hard to put into words. I've never been a part of a collective that, that means this much to me. And 
that I know means so much to everyone around me. And at the end of the day, that's that's what allows us. That's what allows us to get this far. That's what allows us to do what we do. Um, yeah, through wins, losses. Like I said, obviously it hurts. Um, national championship. It, it doesn't get worse than that, but it still means so much, and it will do so, like Coach said, for the rest of our lives. And Ada, you know what? Uh, what to you uh, sticks out? What, you know, what do you remember about uh, about this season, about your career? Uh, yeah, I mean, being a part of this program has literally been one of the like greatest honors of my life. I think the family, the network we create here is like it's unrivaled. I think you know the amount of messages I got this weekend. I've literally spoken to every single player I've played with since I've since they graduated and left this program. I think that says a lot about what we do here. I mean, like Coach said, man, like I haven't sat for one of these press conferences, but the third time kind of dealing with one of these losses, like. I feel a little numb to the pain right now, but I think when I look back in a few years, you know, kind of the silver lining of it all was I got to spend as much time as possible with this group, kind of three out of the four years. I think last year, in a very weird way, was kind of the most painful because we felt like we lost out on two weeks that we could have spent with our seniors. So, I mean, I want to win, man. I'm a competitor. I really want to win, and it didn't happen today. We poured our heart and soul into it. It didn't happen, but the fact I got to spend, you know, so long with each and every team I was here with is something I'll forever savor, man. Like the bus rides, the dinners, the jokes, the trivias, like it's all the little moments in between, honestly, what makes the sport so special. So I wanted to win today. We all wanted to win. It didn't happen, but I'm just, I'm immensely proud to be part of this group and I'll be supporting the guys next year, the years after, until the day I die, man, I'm a being I'm a soccer fan, so. I hope the boys can get to this stage again. I hope they don't have to experience this heartbreak again when they get to this stage, but I'm kind of looking forward to transitioning to the role of supporter now. Coach, we'll give you the final word here. Talk about this program and we talk about three of the four and, and yeah, runner up experiences here, but maybe this also puts you as a talisman of division three men's soccer right now that you're here. You continue to be here. Program looks good for the future. Gush about your program and how you feel about being at the top of Division Three soccer. Yeah, I don't. I mean, it, it's. I think we keep it in perspective. I mean, it, I, I uh, appreciate that. It's um, you know so proud of these guys. It's imp It's so like wrapping your brain around the fact that we've been to three finals in the last four years. There's 418 teams in Division Three. These are these are like, I've said it you know the last couple of times, but these are uptown problems. Uh, there's a lot of programs that don't get the opportunity to make a conference like tournament, let alone make the NCAAs, let alone make a Sweet 16, let alone make a Final Four. So like we, we, we you know, again, like uh, we sort of keep it, keep it all in perspective. And, um, and I think it's, it's just so special to me. I'll also like call out the amazing support that we get, right? Um, from our athletic director, Don Falstick, the president of our school, Michael Elliott, who's been terrific. Um, all the way through Kathy Jekinowski, Derek Shea, our, uh, Alex Ortega, Coach Huffman. Like it's, it's the, the things that people, the sacrifices people make to be part of the program, to support the program through good and bad and thick and thin and all that is just absolutely incredible. So like, you know, again, Otto's played 31 postseason games over the course of his, of his career. That's two full seasons worth of games that some NESCAC teams haven't played. Like, it, it, we maximized our time together. And, you know, I, I, I think it's like, yeah, we're bummed, man. I mean, how do you not, you know, how are you not bummed? But at the same time, um, we have so much to be proud of. These guys have so much to be proud of. Um, and I, you know, I, I will say that I'm personally uh, sorry that I couldn't have done a better job for these guys. Having said that, I'll also say personally that, like, thank God um, I had the opportunity. You know, we won one in 2015. And I don't mean that in a way that's like, oh, this great accomplishment. I mean in a way that, like, that's all there is to it. Like, that can't be what your life's about. If your life's about sort of winning and losing a sport, then I think you're missing out on something. Because uh, I don't – I don't I, – I know people think that I say things or whatever, and I don't mean – like, I do not care about the wins and losses. I care about the people. I care about the community that we've created. 
I'm so proud of the community that we've created, um, and it goes on forever. Uh, I love these guys. We said a couple years ago that one of the things we weren't ever going to do in our program, alumni, players, was say, hey, you know, love you, man. Love you, bro. Right? Like, we're going to look each other in the eye and say, I love you. And that's something that I think there's no qualifiers there. And the love that I have for Ada, the love that I have for Wyatt, the love that I have for the other uh, 26 guys in this team and everyone that supports us, supports us is uh, – uh, it's the privilege of my life. So um, personally, you know, disappointed, but uh, blessed, grateful in so many different ways. And I get to go home tonight, as these guys do, to their families and to my family, who I love so much. Um, and that's what matters. So. Well, the, the community of Amherst men's soccer is strong. Ada, Wyatt, Coach, we've enjoyed watching you play this weekend here. Congratulations on being the 2023 runners-up. Thank you. Thanks.